Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and today I'm going to share with you a hidden slider that you can conveniently use to remove halos in Photoshop. So let's get started with it. Suppose you want to select this subject and put her in a different background. So for that, we will select first of all the quick selection tool and at the top you would see select subject. Let's click on that. Adobe Photoshop uses its artificial intelligence to make an automatic selection of the subject and it does a pretty good job. Now once the selection is in place, we can click on the mask button right over there and put her in any background we like. Now up until now the selection looks okay but as soon as you put her in a contrasting background, you will begin to notice the fallacies here. So click on the adjustment icon and then choose solid color and let's choose black because the background was brighter so black would be the most contrasting color here. So put it at the back. Now have a look. Everything, most of the thing looks okay. Now there are a couple mistakes here and there that we can easily correct either with the quick selection tool or with the object selection tool or manually with the brush. That's not of the concern for this video. However, what we are concerned about are these little white lines right over there. Even though they are very little, how do we easily remove it? Earlier, what do we used to do? We used to make a selection, we used to contract the selection and then we had to erase the extras. Instead of going through that entire step, do this instead. So select the mask first of all of the subject and then select the lasso tool. Now instead of directly making a selection of the area where you want to remove the halos, don't forget to increase the feather. If you don't, the edges would be pretty hard. Let me show you an example. So if you made a selection like this, all right, and if I filled it, look, the edges are too hard, right? If we had increased the feather to let's say by 15 pixels, and then we made a selection and then I filled it, have a look at the edge. It is softer, so that's what feather is. Anyway, let's come back to the mask. Make sure the feather is a little on the higher side. 10, 15 is fine. And now I'm going to select the areas which have halos. Roughly, this is the section. Now let's go to filter. Other interesting filter here, and that is minimum. Now what minimum does is that it pushes the dark areas towards the bright areas. And you would have noticed one other filter there as well, which is the maximum filter, which pushes the bright areas and the dark areas just opposite. Now here you can choose roundness. If you choose square, it would increase it in squares. Have a look. It has some hard edges right there. I would recommend that you choose a roundness and take the radius all the way to the left hand side. This is just too extreme, right? And slowly and gradually take it to the right. I feel that for this example, 0.9 would be appropriate. And as soon as you do that, have a look, all of those halos are instantly gone. Now, after you have figured out what the number would be, then you can repeat the same thing all over the place. So let's say you want to remove this white shine from all this area. Just make a rough selection here, then go to filter and just repeat that. The last filter with the same setting would be at the very top. You can also use the shortcut Alt Control F. So click on that and it's automatically gone. So you can repeat the same steps for other areas as well. So let's say here you want to remove the halos, just roughly make a selection. Let's go to filter and then minimum or press the shortcut Alt Control F. Let's do one more area. So this time let's select that area and press the shortcut Alt Control F and it automatically does that. See how convenient it is to work with halos? So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you in some way or the other. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I will see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.